are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. Here's your weather video for this Sunday, December the 6th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray. Saturday, a nice day across Alabama. Lots of sunshine. Temperatures a little warmer than we expected, but we'll take that in December. Today, you'll see increasing clouds. We'll get into that in just a second. Here's the upper air pattern across North America this morning showing a big trough of low pressure. Really, two of them coming at us today, one over the Midwest, one over Texas. They're going to combine into one big one. Uh, over the next 24 hours and push a frontal system through our area. Uh, later today, we expect, to, well, let's talk about what's going on this morning. Uh, pretty chilly, clear skies overnight last night, allowing for uh, fairly decent radiational cooling temperatures dropping into the lower 30s over northern parts of the area down into north central Alabama and allowed some fog to develop. Uh, not a good combination. Uh, some areas that have got dense fog, patchy dense fog, and freezing temperatures this morning could see some freezing fog. Uh, that could happen on raised surfaces, uh, on bridges. Could be a few patches of ice out there. So watch out, especially areas of I, uh, east of I-65, north of I-20. I think those are the best areas that we might see that happen. But freezing fog, a possibility this morning. Other areas where temperatures are above freezing, dense fog, could be a possibility this morning, but clouds are moving in from the southwest thanks to that uh, upper system to our southwest, and uh, by uh, mid-afternoon we'll see uh, a rapidly expanding shield of light showers over southwestern Alabama. They could reach um, some of our western counties, uh, Sumter, Choctaw, Washington, down into the Mobile area by 1 o'clock. This is um, by 4 o'clock this afternoon showing a uh, fairly substantial shield uh, west of I-65, south of I-59. By um, 7 o'clock tonight, uh, those showers are um, fairly widespread south of I-20. They're not heavy. Uh, most folks only getting about a tenth of an inch of rain. A few spots might see uh, two tenths of an inch, but a lot of spots probably won't see anything at all. Uh, this activity will begin to push to the east during the overnight hours. Now, today we're going to be uh, in the middle 50s in the Tennessee Valley, uh, upper 50s, uh, in central Alabama with some lower 60s down around Montgomery. Um, but then you'll see this front sweep through tonight. Winds will shift around to the northwest and it'll turn colder again with a, uh, a, a gusty northwest wind that will continue into Monday morning. But you'll see uh, rapidly uh, increasing sunshine on Monday uh, as that front moves on through, gets on out of the area. We'll uh, see temperatures struggling to get to near 50 degrees. Spots in north Alabama won't get out of the middle 40s. Uh, so it'll be a, a windy, sunny, uh, breezy, and cool day on Monday. Now, expect a widespread freeze Tuesday, or Monday night, Tuesday morning. Uh, overnight lows ranging between 24 and 28 degrees across north and central Alabama, so a fairly widespread freeze across the area. Um, and then uh, Tuesday won't be much better in terms of warmth. 52 the daytime high, mostly sunny skies, though, remaining cool across the area. We'll be back down near freezing again Tuesday night. Wednesday, high pressure um, in control. Uh, heights begin to rise. We see moderating temperatures. It'll be a little warmer. Highs in the uh, middle and upper 50s to near 60 in a few spots on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we'll see a few more clouds. Next system getting organized uh, there in the southwest. We'll see a few more clouds here. Uh, we'll be milder, though. Uh, lower to middle 60s will be common uh, by Thursday. And then as we get into Friday, uh, pretty decent low pressure system uh, the, moving into eastern Iowa. Cold front trailing back through the Arkla mix. This is a uh, late Friday evening, uh, around nine o'clock, showing uh, showers and thunderstorms uh, crossing the Mississippi River. Now these storms are going to be weakening as they move toward Alabama. They'll push into our state after midnight. We'll see some lightning and thunder probably in some of the border counties, but that uh, activity will weaken as it uh, gets into um, the rest of the state during the day. But it, this system looks like it's going to stall. Uh, and wait on the next system to come through and kick it out. So it looks like uh, showers will be with us most of the day on Saturday. Now, after being in the middle and upper 60s on Friday, um, we'll probably stay in the upper, middle and upper 50s on Saturday with those showers and clouds around. And then as um, um, this next system comes in, this is Sunday. Look, uh, another low-pressure system uh, moves up through, the, uh, through Mississippi, uh, hits the northwest corner of Alabama, and it looks like a cold rain. Temperatures limited to the 40s on Sunday 
it will not be a fun day from a weather standpoint. But that system will clear on out, give us a few days of dry weather. Uh, and out to the end of the period, uh, Voodoo Land on the 20th of uh, December, that Sunday, uh, another band of showers, possibly a few thunderstorms, moving through Alabama with another uh, storm system. We stay fairly cool through most of the period. As we said, you know, uh, we'll be upper 50s today, uh, struggling to reach 50 tomorrow, lower 50s on Tuesday, uh, but then uh, working back into the uh, lower and middle 60s uh, for Thursday and Friday before we cool back off behind that system. Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, December the 6th. I'll have notes on the blog and update on the forecast at noon. And uh, be watching the weather all throughout the day today as those showers move across the area. Hope you stay dry. We could use the rain, though. We continue to be uh, dry across Alabama, so uh, that won't hurt our feelings if we uh, get a little bit more. But until I get to uh, sit in the seat next Sunday, James will have two days all week. Scott will be back next Saturday. And as I always tell you, until I see you again, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.